Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, power rename with Microsoft Power Toys. So this is a new feature that they released on their utility. And I'm going to show you guys how it works. So let's get started. So first things first, on my desktop, I'm going to right click on the start menu, go to run, type in WinVER, hit OK. And I'm doing this video within a Windows 10 version 1903 build 19013. Okay. Uh, you have to understand that Power Toys only works on specific builds. I think anything higher than build 1703 is the requirement. I, I think I actually did a video with you guys installing and went over some of the requirements. So check that video out. Okay. Uh, from here, I'm going to go to my lower right hand side, click on the little arrow and we need to locate our Power Toys uh, little icon. We're going to right click on it and go to settings. And within settings, you probably don't have the new feature that was released because you still are running version 11. So what you want to do is click on check for updates. Your web browser, your favorite web browser will open up and you need to download and install the new release, which is 0 0.12.0. Uh, we're going to click on the power toy setup .msi file and it's going to install. It's really small. It's about 3.1 megabytes. Once that's finished, you could click on it and it's going to launch up. We're going to click next here, next again, uh, next here, install, and it's going to start installing. You are going to receive the user account control. Just click yes here and it's going to validate the install. And because I already have power toys up and running, we need to close it. Locate it on the taskbar, right click on it and just close the utility. So once you do that, retry and the installation is completed. When you click finish, it's going to launch. And when you do that, it's going to do a user access control dialog box. Just hit yes because you are giving it access to launch and it's going to launch. That's it. Nothing's going to pop up. So what's going to happen is on your lower right hand side on the little menu, the icon, you're going to see it there. You're going to right click on it, go to settings. When you right click on it and go to settings, you're going to see if you're using the dark mode theme, uh, power toy settings now kind of embraces that dark mode, which I really like, but you're going to see a new feature power rename by default is turned on, but when you click on it, you're not going to see too much settings on this. Uh, you are able to click on module overview. I think it takes you to like a YouTube thing and shows you how to use it. So how does it actually work? So I created a folder on the desktop with a bunch of text files. And if you right click on that folder or any folder within your environment, you're going to see a new option that says power rename. When you click on power rename, you're going to get a dialog box, which is extremely powerful. It allows you to search for something and replace it with something else. So I did a search for new and anything with new, uh, it gave you at the bottom, a little window. It gives you everything that it caught that had the word new and I want to replace it with BTN HD. Okay. You have several options, about nine options by default. The only one that they have is match all, but you are able to filter it out even more. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it as the default and I want to change everything that has the word new to be TNHD. Just click on rename and you're done. Now, if you open up the folder, as you can see, everything that had new text document now has BTNHD text document. Now you don't really need to click on the folder. If you're already inside the folder, you are able to just select a bunch of files or right click a file. You are able to pick the power rename. And again, you're going to get that same dialog box and just follow the criteria, you know, uh, find the, the text that you want, replace it with something, pick your options and then rename it. And that's it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you update your Microsoft power toys. Um, if you liked the video, hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe and also please share out the video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.